there you have it. He knows nothing. We have a bit of a, a southern draw. Come a little while if you're live from oh, the uh, Moondog. So are we rolling? Like to welcome you all, first of all, to this press conference. Uh, sorry, such short notice, but uh, my client Alex Burgos, as you know by now, has uh, decided to move on with his professional baseball career and uh, begin, uh, I think it's rookie ball for the Detroit Tigers. Uh, before I open up the floor for questions, I've prepared a little opening statement. Um, you know, over the last two years, Alex. You know, has really enjoyed his time here in Mankato. I think we'd be doing a disservice if we didn't express, you know, his feelings towards the city of Mankato and the Moon Dogs organization. Uh, he wanted me to let you know that uh, he enjoyed his time thoroughly. He regrets that he has to leave, but it is in his best interest that he do so. Um, so without further ado, I'd like you all to welcome uh, Alex Burgos, fifth round draft pick, Detroit Tigers. Um, please, questions. Uh, Taylor Ren. Uh, Mr. Burgos, uh, first question. Over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. Um, your thoughts on just going into the whole pro ball atmosphere? Are you are you a little, you know, have a little anxiety in you? Or are you are you fear? Uh, are you, you know, how are you, how are you feeling about this whole thing? It's kind of overwhelming you, or, or how are you feeling about it? Um, you know, like, when I was a little kid, I've always dreamed about playing professional baseball. I just can't believe it's here. I really, it's, it's an honor. So, get drafted in the fifth round. I wasn't expecting that to be in the year. It's just been a dream come true. And, uh, I guess I'm a little nervous, but you know, I couldn't have done it with all the fan support for the Mankato, my agent, Cody Fig, who's done a great job. So, yeah. uh, next question. Sir. Sir. How does this benefit me? Do I get anything out of it? Well, I think that's a question that I can answer a little bit better than Alex. Uh, I think this, this benefits you in many different uh, facets. Uh, I think that you'll, you'll look back on this experience playing with Alex Burgos, and you'll look back on it and say, wow, I've learned a lot of cool things from this guy. I mean, he has some sick dance moves. Now you, having seen those sick dance moves, will be able to, to flaunt them in clubs across the, the Northeast and Pennsylvania everywhere, Mr. Lapkowitz. I think also you'll benefit from having been around him as a baseball player. You're left-handed, he's left-handed. You've learned some things, I'm sure. Next question. Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> Sir. Alexander, first of all, uh, congratulations, son. It's uh, you know, it's been an honor having you out here at Mankato. You're just a, you're a great guy to watch. Uh, first of all, uh, for the fans here, could you give us a, a good favorite Moon Dog moment, maybe uh, from on or off the field? You know, I think the fans would really appreciate that. Um, I really have two of my most memorable Moon Dog moments happened last year. One. One of us, which, um, when Jesse asked me to perform a little dance routine in front of the fans, and it was ladies' night, I was single at the time. Uh, but it really didn't work, but I really did have a lot of fun. And my second was when uh, Tim Griffin threw his no-hitter. You know, that to me was just a special moment in the game. I don't know history. Two, two counts. Runners at first and second, one gone in the ninth. Six zip dogs. Griffin will check the runner at second. Here's the right-hander's delivery. Bouncing ball to short. He'll go to second for one to first. Double play! Oh, my goodness! And it's a no-hitter for Tim Griffin. A no-hitter for Tim Griffin. The game will end in a double play. 5-4-3. The dogs out of the dugout, out of the field. They're mobbing Griffin. And the Moon Dogs come up with a no-hitter at the Frank tonight. That's the 12th no-hitter in Northwoods League history. And check this, the fourth this season. Tim Griffin will go down in the record books for the Moondogs 
the first no-hitter in Moondogs history. Congratulations, Tim Griffin, as the Moondogs win tonight by a final score of 6 to nothing here at Franklin Rogers Park. Thanks again, Alexander. No problem. Anyone else? Anyone else? All right, uh, Alex, would you like to uh, say a few closing statements? Yeah, um, I just wanted to give thanks to uh, you know, all my teammates here. I want to give thanks to uh, Mike Orchard, Jim Murphy, Steve Gus. Just take your time. And my, uh, my favorite pitching coach of all time, Jason Bell. He's out camp in the fifth round with the London with not even any questions. It's a fortune that I'm leaving here. It's my pitchers, man. It's my pitcher. My, uh, my host family, I really appreciate them bringing in a Spanish person into their home. It's the first time for them. I just, you know, didn't. I'm just glad, you know, they just are okay with everything. They, you know, they're like my mom and dad now. I'd like to thank my boy Sam. You know, he's out there representing me. I just appreciate all the support. And, uh, thank you. Alright, uh, that's all we have for today. I'd like to thank you all once again for coming out to this conference. Uh, Mr. Burgos, thank you as well. Mambo pa' que mi gata prenda los motores Yo me le mambo pa' que mi gata prenda los motores Yo me le mambo pa' que mi gata